Welcome to Captain Draken's Bitcoin Show. Ahoy, folks. Welcome back to my show. Ahoy, ahoy. Today, you will learn how to store your Bitcoin safely. As we have learned in our last episodes, the most important thing about Bitcoin is the private key. Never, ever lose it. Of course, you don't want to entrust anyone else with your private key. But also, your own computer might get hacked. A hacker could steal your private keys and run away with your bitcoins. So, you want to store your private keys in a way that cannot be hacked. One way is to print out your private key on a piece of paper. What? I thought bitcoins are digital. Yes, it may sound funny, but good old paper is still a very safe way to store your bitcoins. But you need to hide it well. Sure, a paper wallet is good if you want to store savings that you do not need to access often. But if you want to use your bitcoins for your day-to-day spendings, a paper wallet is not so practical. That's why the hardware wallet was invented. It stores your private keys in such a way that a hacker cannot steal it. Cool. And if you want to transfer money, you can simply link your hardware wallet to your computer, which runs a Bitcoin software wallet. And the private keys? The private keys never leave this little device. You need to push this button to confirm a transaction. If you lose your hardware wallet, you can restore your private keys on a new device, but you need to store the seed key beforehand. A hardware wallet is a safe and practical way to store bitcoins. There are several hardware wallets on the market. The most well-known are Trezor, Ledger, and KeepKey. I want a hardware wallet. Hardware wallets are not cheap. They cost between 50 and a few hundred dollars. But if you own a certain amount of bitcoin... A hardware wallet is definitely a good investment. Make the world a better place with Bitcoin. Captain Draken's Bitcoin Show is brought to you by Avalon Life.